Boys and girls, today we're going to be going over the effects that can result from the association between too much screen time and sleep deprivation. Would anyone like to tell me how the following variables are associated with excessive screen time? Anybody? Mm, Billy. Well, Professor Olux, let me tell you something that I got out of this PowerPoint. Well, you see, weight gain can be associated to excessive screen time because uh, people who tend to watch television or play video games for an extensive period of time tend to eat more and they also tend to drink more. And well, if you do that, you're gonna get fat, so uh, clearly there's an association. <laughs> Wonderful, Billy, that is correct. Now class, we're gonna also be discussing some more preventions. So what we can do is we can easily join a club or an organization. This means you can join a soccer team, a basketball team, anything you guys wanna join. Um, also, participation in community service or events. Uh, if there's a fair or if um, there's a bring your dog out kind of day, anything that'll bring you outside of um, your house or possibly um, an environment where you might be more likely to be on your phone. Okay. Boys and girls, I just want to show you a very quick video on tips for healthier screen time. Excessive screen time in the day can lead to difficulties in sleeping at night. Too much of it can also lead to a slowdown in our brain development and motor skills. Very long content can translate to aggressive tendencies in real life if we are not vigilant. So, what exactly can we do to prevent the rise of monstrous behaviors in our children? Well, for starters, no screen time at mealtime. It is the time to interact and build strong bonds with the family. Let's remember that books and face-to-face -face interaction in discussing the contents play an important role in the early years too. Other joys can be found outside the world of phone games, TV shows, and social media. A simple walk in the park can be very enriching. Okay, after viewing this short clip, can anyone tell me what they learned from the video? Mm, David. Well, Mr. Goldilux, uh, I guess if I have to tell you something that I got out of the video, it's that, uh, don't use the phones at the dinner table. But, uh, yeah, just, just talk with your family, I guess. Okay, class, the last thing I'm going to mention is an app name tracker. Now, all of you are going to have to request from your parents to download Tracker. Tracker is an app where your parents are going to be able to monitor your um, screen time use. Now, I know that a lot of you might not be necessarily fond of the idea, but you're going to have to do it. It's part of the class. And your parents are going to have to be able to fill in all of the information. They're going to have to log in how many hours or um, yeah, how many hours you're, you're going to be using your devices for. And based on that, I am going to determine whether or not you're going to pass this course. Um, we're also going to have a follow-up, and I'm going to speak to your parents, and I have to also see that they're setting an example for you guys. Um, sorry about that, class. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a follow-up, and your parents are going to come in, and they're going to tell me um, how, what the results were, how you did on your behalf, and also how they did. So it's going to be interesting, and I hope to see that you guys really learn from this class. Billy! Yes, Papa? Tracker tells me you're doing a great job. Ah, well that's phenomenal. I'm impressed. Ah, well you shouldn't be because your boy's a genius. <laughs> David. Huh? What? Yeah? David, I can't believe that you're not doing what the teacher told you to do. I'm checking the tracker and you keep using your phone. Ah, my goodness, tracker. It's, it's just a bunch of baloney that Mr. Goldilocks came up with. Uh, it's probably false information. I, I'm always studying, and you know this, Mom. I mean, it's reflective in my grades, right? Come on. Yes, hello, Mr. Goldilocks. Um, I have spoken with David over his cellular device use, and uh, this tracker application is good for me because I can see uh, how he's progressing or how he's not, and in this case, he's not. Um, and I have talked to him, and I have enforced the rules and he is now going to, for sure, abide by my rules, okay? And uh, 
It is final. I set the example the other day. I, I sat with him and I did not use cellular device, not TV. We just sat at the dining table and we ate good food. And that's it. Thank you, Ms. Graham. I'm really pleased to see that your child has uh, progressed. I understand that it could be tough for him. I, I know that he is ex that he experiences a bit of trouble in the classroom, but I've honestly seen um, a big improvement. Um, and also from the results from Tracker, it shows that he's been using his phone a lot less. And it's evident he's, his grades have gone up. Uh, he seems to be in a better mood. And I'm just glad to see that, um, that he's progressed and also to see that you have set the example for him. It's amazing and this is what this class aims for. And I'm just so glad to see that uh, this is a successful um, result. Good afternoon, Mr. Goldilocks. I am so pleased to see that Billy is progressing. He's never been a very problematic child. He's actually been very uh, well-natured his whole life, and um, but he's certainly shown even more progress. He's actually narrowed down his device time to one hour per day. And I am just so pleased. This, this app is amazing in the sense that it gives me so much control. It gives me the ability to be able to monitor uh, everything he does and it's just it's great for me and it's wonderful for Billy and I am just so pleased with the results. Thank Mr. you. Smith, you and I know that your child is academically gifted. He excels in every subject and uh, quite frankly I'm really not surprised with the results but however I am very happy to see that he's narrowed down his uh, screen media use from two hours to one hour. I think that's very good. So you go out there and you make a change today! Make a change. You can do it. This issue can be solved if we all work together.